Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 17 June here, Monday morning. After a few days off, uh, which is always nice, get away from the markets. We were out on the bicycles. Uh, we did about 600 kilometers over four days. Climbed over 10,000 meters um, in the central area of Switzerland, Chaudfond, Neustadt. Uh, in the Jura mountain range. Good, good fun with a group of good, good guys. Um, even though my body is incredibly tired right now, my brain feels rejuvenated for the effort. Uh, feeling pretty good going into this week. And let's see what we can do. Try and make some money here um, on this very important FOMC week. Quiet start uh, so far. Kind of nothing's really moved since uh, the Friday close. As you can see on the right hand side, we have a lot of less than a tenth of a percent moves in most all currencies. The biggest move being Kiwi, which is up a little bit, mildly. You know, I can't even call it up a little bit. I mean, this is like 15 points. Um, so really not much to say about the overnight flows. I guess it's mildly risk on equities, um, are just below 2,900. This is a delay. This is delayed 2,903. Um, they're at 2,898 at the moment. First chart I want to look at is gold here. Looked like a turn. Looks like a turn, um, on Friday. And I wouldn't be long gold heading into the FOMC because I really would be very surprised if they cut rates on Friday. Um, but the other reason I wouldn't be long gold is uh, going into this week is I think you're going to get better levels to buy this. We talked about trying to pick it up in the 20s uh, last week. And then Druckenmiller and all these fellows started saying gold is the best trade over the next two three years which may or may not be true. Uh, most of us don't have that kind of uh, ability to hold positions for months and quarters and years. So you really have to just turn that kind of stuff off. But it looks like the market is going to get caught long here. Uh, he said that when the market was at 1340. Um, so, you know, should be some stops below this low here now 1323 that said if you are going to buy gold if you'd like to buy be long gold which i don't mind um you now have this area here between 1304 and 1324 to buy so this will just be some sideways motion that takes out some of the recent longs um but it won't really penetrate support I don't think which is 1300 so for the week we'll be looking to buy gold at around 1310 1305 1310 currency side like I said not much to talk about retail sales on Friday looked like they were pretty strong and so this turned um, US dollar euro dropped pretty sharply but now we're just mid-range so there's really nothing to do here um, Everything is kind of mid-range. Dollar Swiss back a little bit higher, mid-range. Dollar Yen never really approached that key uh, 107.80 level. Again, mid-range here. The Dollar Yen chart is just like the gold chart now, right? We have this 108.80. Above that, weak shorts will get taken out. But you're if you're buying at 108.80, you're buying right into this resistance band here between 108.80 and 109.15. So be careful with that. Um, we like selling dollar yen up towards 109, 109.15. We talked about that as the trade of the week last week, which didn't get triggered. So um, this will not be the trade of the week this week. Um, we will post that uh, on our website and have a little uh, one-pager 
later on this morning. Aussie still on its knees. Really looks uh, quite negative. 68, 70 now. Kind of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, quadruple low, whatever. Um, this looks like it's going to penetrate that lower at some point this week. Definitely not time for momentum trade with volatility so low. But Aussie still looks, uh, I would say, quite terrible. Um, what else? Let's look at these equities right back up towards the highs. Um, the key high now, of course, will be the June 11th high, which was 291150. Uh, we had that little bit of a turn. We dropped 50 handles, but then we're right back higher. It looks like it's just wandering around, dancing, looking for risk to take out. And the risk sort of feels like it's, um, you know, feels like there's some, some shorts out there still. Uh, which doesn't make much sense to us. I mean, being short makes sense to us, but why this doesn't fall through to the downside, I don't know. But technically now, um, you know, you have to cut any shorts below 29.11.50, so there will be risk there. Uh, should probably trade before OFMC. And you really don't want to take any kind of like medium-term positions uh, until we get FOMC out of the way. Today, as far as uh, what's happening in the calendar, very, very little. We've got Draghi speaking. Uh, Draghi speaking at 1 p.m. Um, New York time. Wow, we really have nothing. So we have 7 p.m. Swiss time. Draghi speaking and that's it and then uh, this evening or tomorrow morning early for those in you for those of us in Europe it's going to be pretty tough 3 30 a.m. will be the monetary uh, policy minutes from Australia so that'll be very very interesting it brings us back to this Aussie chart here which looks uh, incredibly horrible um, this will probably go lower on some very dovish minutes. So, anyway, not a whole lot to add trading wise. Just wanted to get back in the saddle here. I want to get used to price again and really start drilling down and trying to get ready for Wednesday, which uh, needs to be a very big money making day. There should be good movement on Wednesday. There's a lot of build up in the media. Uh, Obviously, there's a big tug of war whether Powell should cut or hold. Um, so let's get our heads together and let's be right for uh, Wednesday evening here, European time. Today, on a very quiet Monday, we will be doing nothing, just watching um, and getting used to price action. We'll pop some stuff on Twitter if we have any fresh ideas. Otherwise, I wish you all... Uh, Good luck today. Make some dough and uh, I will talk to you again in the morning. Ciao.